All right, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Wa Waterbot here. <laughs> uh, welcome to Power Wash Simulator. This is a game that a number of my friends have recommended, and I've really wanted to give a shot, but I've just I keep forgetting it exists because, frankly, when it comes down to it, oh my gosh, going to Mars? Okay, that's apparently a thing. Uh, anyway, it's been something I've been wanting to try out for a while, but I keep forgetting it exists because ultimately, I. Anything set in, like, modern-day real life just instantly slips my brain because it doesn't normally interest me. Uh, but that's okay. Great news! Finally found a van for you at the auctions under your budget. Don't freak out when you see it. Looks like it's been dredged up from the bottom of lake. But that's a good thing. It means it meant no one else bid on it. They missed out. Underneath that hideous layer of gunk is your perfect workhorse. Engines a dream, no rust, and there's even equipment in the back. Just needs good hosing down when and you're in business. You'll certainly earn your pressure washing stripes getting this thing clean. So we got details and we got messages. I I see money, so I'm curious if we get to buy equipment in this game. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty loud. Um b -b 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 options. There we go. I'm just going to turn water or uh, power washer. I don't know. Frankly, I should probably just turn this whole game down. There we go. I don't care to hear the sound effect, like, at all. Okay, I can see why people like this. I gotta do this with my own car, though not a power washer. But, uh... Been a little while since since we last washed our car. It would be a good, good time for it. I don't know. Oh! Okay, so it tells you if a, a part is, like, fully clean or not. I get it. I feel like this is one of those games... I... I saw the, uh, oh shoot, whatever, whatever it is, the, uh, the Martian Rover, and I almost kind of feel like a game like this would really benefit, can I get, oh, I can't get that stuff off, uh, a game like this would almost benefit from going, like, progressively more ridiculous, so you start with a van, and you're cleaning that up, and eventually it's like a space station, uh, and then by the end of the game, you are, uh, you were straight up, like, summoning cleaning buckets from Fantasia. I feel like that would be really cool. Oh, I can just right-click for auto mode. Oh, and I can even see percentage base. Alright, let's just do real quick and try and clear out the big spots and see if it'll just kind of auto-complete for me. Not a... Oh. Yeah, it does, actually. Alright, cool. I appreciate that it just more or less tells me, like, hey, you are this percentage done with this thing. Indicator, grill, indicator, plastic. Cool. Well, that's going to make this really easy. Okay, so we can use the mouse wheel to quick, sl quick swap nozzles, R to rotate nozzle, tab does something else. Well. Big spray seems like... It's going to save me an amount of time. I was assuming I'd almost have to buy these. I wonder if there's... Is there a way to rotate it? I know there's... There's crouch. Here. Let's, um... Let me check options. Uh... Controls. Okay. Show dirt. Sprint. Prone. Rotate nozzle is R. Uh, let's see. Not seeing much on the bumper. Maybe it's over here. Either that or... Yeah, there we go. Secret dirt underneath. But yeah, for... Oh, gosh. Yeah, wide nozzle... Not quite as... Not quite as good. That's probably a little too little. I think we'll just go high pressure for this. And just try and be thorough. I don't... Eh, maybe not, actually. Maybe just go high pressure, take off most of the immediate grime real quick, and then just do a couple of passes and then focus down. I don't actually know. Yeah, the bigger the beam, the less powerful. Oh, yeah. I know. I've done a little bit of power washing. Uh, I'm not going to say professionally, but I was paid to do it for a, this summer, which is kind of fun. It was only here and there. Uh, effectively, my frat was associated with... I guess it was one of our old advisors. Um, but the the guy would often hire students that were in town for the summer. 
uh, to come and do, like, work on his property. And so for whatever reason, I was the power washer guy. And so I, I got to more or less power wash the guy's entire dang house. Which was kind of great. And then one of my friends was like, hey, shoot me with the power washer. And, like, I cut him really badly, and so we decided never to do that again. Suffice to say, frat boy's not necessarily the smartest. Well, I mean, this group was. Because it was, it was not, like, standard Phi Beta Kappa whatever. This was a bunch of, uh, the computer science guys. Still dumb, but actually pretty smart, at least within, within their chosen field. Actually, probably better to go sideways on this one. Let's see. I should probably focus focus fire some of these piecemeal just so I don't have to think about them. Because the body is going to take forever. Also, the roof is going to take forever. We'll see how it goes. Let's see. It just reminded me my work is power washing the south entrance of the place I work at. Is that bad? I don't know. I, I find there's something really satisfying about, like, even watching somebody else power wash. Even if I'm not part of it. Unless it's just, like, an insane amount of work that you don't want to do. At which point, I guess I can understand. You probably work at a not small building. Let's see. There we go. I think I'm just going to stick to the orange nozzle. The white definitely got the job done faster, but did it get it done better? I don't I don't know. Actually, apparently yes. I don't think it's as judgy as I think it is. Brick and glass and sidewalk. Fair enough. There we go. Here. I'm just going to move that over there for the time being. I'm so glad I don't have to hold left click for all of this. That's actually really nice. Yeah, let's, let's just get everything down low first. And then work our way back up, maybe. Imagine speedruns of this game. Yeah, I mean... Frankly, such a thing would not surprise me in the slightest. Like, I, I feel like that could actually be a really cool GDQ run, frankly. Of just, like, you have a bunch of dudes, maybe even dressed up, uh, and, like, really acting the part, uh, maybe to the nth degree. I feel like that could be, that could be, frankly, really cool. Huh. I wonder if I'd actually just be better off being in, in hyper-nozzle mode. Probably not. I know it does have speedrun challenge modes, but I want to see somebody doing it with, like, the full tricks and everything. You know, uh, playing this game in the way the devs did not intend for it to be speedrun. Using everything at their disposal. You gonna go with that business name, or do you need to think something up? I'm phenomenal. I thought of grouting Thomas for the Tyler, and he's never looked back. Power wash services. I'm pretty sure I can name it something completely different. Also, how the hell did we get the logo on this before... It got dirty. Okay, question. Yes. Who needs a stepping stool when you can just climb? I guess I should probably rotate this and go up and down. Considering everything. There we go. But yeah, I can 100% see why this is why a lot of people find this incredibly satisfying. Hopefully there's other tools that I can pick up along the way and specifically purchase. It'd be really cool if some of them were ridiculous. I I don't know. I just I want all these like real life sim kind of games to just go that
Yeah, I didn't actually get the mirrors. Is it just the mirrors at this point? Grill, headlight, hubcap. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now we just need hubcap. There we go. Okay, open the tablet to continue. Oh, that's cool. There's even a time lapse of it. Cool. Man looks fantastic. Told you it'd be fine under the grime. I've pinged you the hundred dollars left off left over from what you gave me, so that should help you get off the ground. Also just met my new neighbor over the fence, grumbling about his dirty backyard. Told him to give you a shout. Looks like you've got your first customer. But first, I wish to purchase. Oh, how buy? There we go. Okay, power washers, equipment, cleaning liquids. Cleaning liquids attached to soap nozzles. Match liquids to surface materials for the most effective results. Alternatively, power washer. Uh, let's see. So, I only have 150. And it looks like a lot of these are very expensive. Equipment. A spinning zero degree nozzle that increases the AOE while maintaining. Max pressure. Improves the range while being able to use on quite close surfaces. Long extension. Uh, let's see. Soap nozzle. Urban nozzle. I wonder, let me buy this. Maybe I have to get the higher tiers. I guess I'll just get the turbo nozzle. The soap thing. And then probably leave it there. I don't know if we need range. Okay, glass, metal, plastic, stone, multi-purpose. Oh, it says two in stock, so these might be consumables. Eh, yeah, the soap doesn't seem like it's worth it right now, so we'll just wait. Probably save up for the Prime Vista. How do we, how do we equip anything? Maybe it just is equipped? Oh, I see, it only works with the Prime Vista. Or is that what I have? I have no idea. Uh, da, 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 da. How do we check? Okay, equip in-game. Got it. All right, career mode. Clean the back garden. Hey, Doc. I hope you like the challenge, because I'm pretty sure I've got the dirtiest backyard you've ever seen. It's not me dragging, by the way. I had nothing to do with it. I just moved back into town to help my folks. We're both down to their last knee and rented what I thought was a great little place. Should have questioned why there weren't any garden picks in the ad. They must have bred rhinos here or something. Anyway, my girls are itching to get back there, and I don't want them still itching when they get back inside. So please, do your thing. Thanks a lot, Cal. Okay, equip with E. Got it. Okay, so I do have the Prime Vista. Uh, let's see, nozzle. Oh, can I... Here's a question. I'm pretty sure I can't do the soap nozzle. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it does anything. Oh, I see. So it's kind of... I want to say it's kind of like Dremel-ish. Uh, maybe not. Dremels don't rotate with as much variability. Frankly... Let's just, uh, let's just do the usual. I'll figure it out later. Okay, the soap nozzle and soap are like pre-soap. Got it. Oh, so does that, uh, does that like soften bits up maybe? Maybe I, maybe I could go bigger. I don't know how resistant the dirt is on this doghouse. Because judging by how generally forgiving the uh, the car was, I might actually be able to just like blitz past a lot of this.
Okay, so the orange stuff is a little, little tougher. There we go. I think. I. I don't know how you're supposed to see some of this dirt. It, that is, that is very invisible. I just be clean, damn you. It's like it's so close, but it's so far. Alright, there we go. Alright, what about the doghouse walls? Or did I get the doghouse? I think the doghouse might be good. Oh gosh. This is this is a lot. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I can use the, the dirt sensor to more or less tell me if the washing... Uh, if the nozzle that I'm using is enough. Because, yeah. Uh, let's see. What about the green? The green, the green is okay. Yeah, you can definitely tell it's not as good as the alternative, though. But it's a lot bigger. I don't know. That's a that's a tough one. I could go. I could go for either. Right. Why am I left clicking this? Boy, this patio is going to take probably the lion's share of the work. Yeah. Yeah, let's just go with this. Less fuss. And yeah, I'm, I'm probably just going to... Uh, honestly, just line myself up and just walk back, back and forth. Instead of even moving my cursor, I will move me. Ow. Cause that seems that seems to work better anyway. I just gotta line up right. Not as easy as I was expecting it would be. I guess I can zigzag a bit, but even then, still messy. Because, yeah, if I rotate even a bit, I guess what I could do is just take my hand off the cursor. There we go. This way I don't have to worry about any level of rotation. It's just a matter of back and forth. Welcome to Cheese Town. Okay, is that a... That's a spotted dirt. Okay, there we go. Perfect. If only I could move this mechanically in real life, that would make my life just so much easier. It is a legit IRL strategy. Yeah, but usually when I do, would do do it in like to this degree, I'd have a chair that could only like a chair or a stool that could only roll in one direction and I'd line myself up perfectly. But, like, walking and stuff? I mean, I guess it's not actually as bad with walking. Use a segue. Yeah, exactly. I want to see a power washer Roomba. Why is that not a thing? I, I feel like I feel like there should be a market for a power washing Roomba. Then again, I, I know people like to meme about Roombas being kind of dangerous. You know, strap a knife to the top or something. But I could see a Roomba with a power washer actually, you know, harming someone. They do have lawnmower Roombas. Huh. I'm looking forward to having a lawn so I can replace it with, uh, not grass. I'm gonna have a bunch of, like, local wild fl wildflowers and stuff. And clover. Oh, having a lawn made out of clover would be lovely. I don't, frankly, I don't actually know why uh, why people love grass as much as they do. I guess it's kind of nice, but it's like, eh.
bragging rights. I I guess. But it's like I lived I lived in Southern California for a while. Uh before even all of this like horrible drought stuff started going through. And like people would have just these gross lawns that were just like devouring water constantly. And like weren't even that nice? Like, they looked ugly. Okay, maybe not ugly so much as just it was like, but why though? And my my mother was like, okay, I'm just going to, I, I'm just going to kind of do my own thing and have like a bunch of, you know, drought resistant local wa wildflowers. And like the, the neighbors hated her for it. They were like, no, you gotta go back to grass. You don't match the rest of the houses. You're dragging down the property values. And, like, eventually we sold the house, and the people that moved in immediately just replaced all of my mother's, you know, lovely flowers with grass. Let's see, it partially shows wealth. I guess. I just... I've been looking at houses lately, um... Because... I don't think I'm quite ready to move away from the Midwest, but the Midwest is getting kind of... Or not the Midwest, uh... Sorry, the the West Coast, Pacific Northwest. There we go. What's up? Do you do bikes? I could do with someone running their thing over my deadbeat dirt dirt bike. Running their thing over my deadbeat dirt dirt bike. That sounds like a euphemism. Lauren and I would climb up and down that rock garden all day, pretending we were rumbling Mount Rushless, and the pond was the crater. Let's see. Moss lawn lawns aren't any more difficult than grass lawns, and they're significantly better for the environment. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I would go with, like, a soft moss or clover, because I don't think you have to mow either of those. Whereas, like, grass you have to mow, and it dies really easily, and it's not very drought-resistant in the slightest. I don't know. But, uh... Gosh, what, a, what was I talking about? Grass lawns. I don't know. It just seemed like a giant waste. And uh, so I... Oh, right, right. I was talking about looking at houses. So I want to move, like, back to the the Midwest or something. Um, and every single house I've looked at has had a nice green lawn and, like, no trees. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Give me a house that is buried in the middle of the woods. Or at least has some, like, big maples giving it a lot of shade. Because, like, every single one of these houses is just, like, absolutely, uh, you know, just drenched in sun. I realize that might not be the best way of putting it, but still, you know, it's just super sunny. And as a person that, like, doesn't really like a warm house, the idea of just having the sun beating on the house all the time, especially with climate change, is just like, but why not have tree? Why not have natural air conditioning all over the place? Why why waste all of this, like, great tree space on grass? Yeah, Canada has a lot of houses with trees around it. Yeah, I've, I've frankly considered moving to Canada a couple of times. The big issue is uh, immigration to Canada is kind of tough, especially if you don't have an employer to give you an in. Uh, like, it would it would be legitimately difficult for me to to move there. It would be legitimately difficult for me to move to a lot of places. I could live around the world on, like, kind of a tourist visa and then just come back on the regular. Which isn't, like, the worst idea, but it really limits, like, what I can get access to, technically. And so, like, I don't know. I... It... It throws me off a little bit, because I really would expect uh, countries to just be absolutely chill with somebody that is, like, fully self-employed, that has, like, minimal, uh, I'm going to say, minimal needs. Because you, you really think in a, in a modern digital age, you know, work-from-home tech people f would be kind of perfect, just because, sure, they might take up some space, but they're not going to take anybody's jobs, and they're not... Well, I guess the thing is with Canada, they specifically want more people to come and, like, work some of their jobs. So I guess I can kind of understand it. 
It sucks for me, though, because it pretty much means I'm stuck in this country unless... Uh, unless I really work my ass off to... Uh, you know, to kind of get my way into a country. Or find a, com a company that's willing to kind of bring me on as a sort of employee. Which, like, I could kind of do with at least a couple. Oh, that one's already dead. Dead. Done. Like, there's a, there's a couple of uh, companies I could probably be like, Hey, can I be like, um... An employee barely on paper? And do like some extra work for you, but... So I could move to your country? <laughs> Uh, but if, even then, I feel like that would be somehow not kosher for a number of companies, which I would understand. Oh, gosh. Let's try going bigger with this. Let's see, working in a tech job in the Midwest, supporting a company based in Boston with a resume a team in California. I want to force this back to the office. The oppos uh, opposition to w remote work is insane. Oh, you mean like the corporate opposition to remote work? Yeah, I don't get that. Like, I, I feel like uh, one of the biggest... One of the biggest things to... Uh, I'm not going to say solving climate change and whatnot, because that's not really... Realistically, there's better ways to doing it, but like improving workers' life uh, lifestyles is remote work. Commuting in general, like that was that was the worst part of any job for me, was just getting there. Like the work could be mindless and boring and whatever, and I didn't mind it, but having to waste upwards of an hour every single day just getting to the job was such a damn waste. Because like I'm not even paid for that. Like, if commutes started to become, like, a paid thing, where it's like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna pay you just to get to the job, like, okay, I could work with that. But, like, I don't know, any extra time that I spend, um, getting to or doing work should be on the company's dime and not my own. You just have a one and a half to two and a half hour commute each way. That's hell, why? Like, I... I understand why, but like, ugh, that just sounds awful. And that's one of my favorite things about my current job is just like, not at all having to worry about ever going, you know, point A to point B, unless it's for like a convention. At which point it's kind of just like... Is there a way I can specifically hot swap between these? I wonder if I can specifically remove one of them. Not really. That sucks. Because yeah, that soap nozzle just isn't really that helpful. Let's see, some companies provide as an employee benefit paid bus rides by the company. Yeah, but like, I had a, I had a friend uh, who lives in San Francisco that worked for Google, which is down in Mountain View, California. And they had, they kind of paid him for it, but they had like a, a shuttle bus with internet that would take him to and from the job site. So he would take this bus that took like, I want to say it was like an hour or two to get to get down to like uh you know the the, the Google headquarters in, in Mountain View. Uh and you would work the entire time, work there for a full eight hour day, and then you would come back. Dude was spending like easily eleven hours working slash in transit. And admittedly an un amount of that is his fault uh for choosing to work or to, you know, live that far away, but like some amount of that just felt heinous to me. Luckily, he liked his job, so I don't think he cared that much. But, still. But no, I, I know my mother specifically uh, has been very resistant to the idea of going back to work in the office. 
She's like, but why though? What's what's the point of this? And the answer is always just like, management wants to. Uh, Doc bumped into the park warden. Definitely needs your help. Fair enough. But it it seems like for a lot of these, it's just management wants somebody to boss around. And maybe that's even it that a number of like upper management people realize they're kind of worthless unless they're directly supervising. Or even beyond that, it's hard to look like you're doing your job if you have no one to boss around. And it might be one of those where it's just like, but then performance reviews will come up and they realize that middle management is meaningless. And most people actually are pretty good at their job, assuming they're motivated to do it. And they don't need, you know, someone breathing down their necks constantly. Let's see, isn't traffic subjective in California? You could be four miles and an hour away. Yeah, it kind of depends where you are. Uh, for cities, yes, absolutely. Uh, San Francisco, I... Right at the beginning of... Uh, like, right before lockdown, I went down down to visit for... Uh, for Disneyland. Which was an absolutely lovely trip and a really terrible idea considering everything, but... Uh, we turned out to be fine. But... Uh, as part of it, one of our friends was meeting up with some of her, like, contacts in the animation industry. Because she was hoping to potentially get a job at, uh, I think it was Disney. Uh, you know, working on whatever one of their, uh, one of their animated shows. And so this, this Disney creative director, uh, specifically drove us into and out of, uh, our section of L... LA that we were staying at for, for Disney. She she picked us up in the morning and it was a two hour drive from where Disneyland was to effectively where the LA Zoo was. Uh, it was like a two, two and a half hour drive. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, hey, we got the patio. Nice. Um, it was like two, two and a half hour drive there and back again. And she did this drive every single day. Like, there is just something truly wrong about that. But I think so much of that has to do with the fact that L.A. just has terrible traffic. Uh, and is not built to have the sheer volume of people living there that actually live there. So one of the issues a friend of mine is having is that people that work from home can't sign paperwork. It means it takes a week or something, a uh, week or so to get something ready to go instead of five minutes. I, there's plenty of digital signing systems though. Like any company that's having trouble with signing paperwork just isn't using the tools available to them. It bugs me a little bit that the percentages are so forgiving. Because I, I keep cleaning these, and there's, like, still a solid 25% left, and it's like, nope, you're done. I'm like, this feels wrong to me. I don't deserve this yet, which is odd, but is what it is. Yeah, unfortunately, the U.S. hasn't really embraced public transportation yet, and it sucks. Because it feels like if we actually had good bu bu Wow, that was... Like I said, way more forgiving than I was expecting it would be. If you were less precise, you would notice less as the remaining stuff would be spread all over. That's fair. I guess it means I can just do broad strokes for a while. And, like, actually be fine? Weird. Are you sure you're not on easy mode? Let's see. Pretty sure. I don't know if there is an easy mode for this, frankly. Okay. Oh. Is this enough? Yeah, okay, so it looks like the yellow is enough for some of this specific grime. Oh, that might might be like a lichen. That's what it is. 
It just looks like puke spots to me. Like somebody just had an absolute bender here and just left the mess. And it's like, I, I sold my house. Time to just peace the hell out. And then just get so drunk on vodka and whatever else they have stuck in the fridge. I've done that. Not vodka, but uh, we were moving out of Kansas. And I was like, oh boy, I have a lot of leftover alcohol in the fridge. What do I do with all of this? And I got really drunk and played Astroneer, which actually was not set. Wasn't too bad. Drunk Astroneer, Astroneer was funny. Don't think I'd generally do it again. But it was funny. I mean, I might have to do it again around here when I move, but we'll see. Hey, thank you, John Rolf, for the 12 month resub. Only a year, but I'm enjoying what you do. Well, thank you. Uh, let's see. Wonder wanted to thank you for that raid on Clara last night. It was an absolute hoot. She's great. Clara's fantastic. Uh, she was... She's a really interesting person. Uh, in terms of, like, position in the industry, she's kind of the influencer outreach person and partial community manager for Devolver Digital. And so she's the one uh, that emails me whenever there's a new game and sends me cool stuff occasionally and so on and so forth. Um, but, yeah, she also streams and is also... I, I don't know about you guys, but I have a number of people that I follow online that I kind of consider to be uh, trustworthy moral compasses. I, I'm not going to say that I have no moral compass, but... I look to a number of people for, like, kind of affirmation of my opinions, uh, especially if it's something that I consider either controversial or just kind of heated. And so I will follow a number of these people just to see what they're saying about, like, current events and whatnot because they align with me so well, but are, like, more involved and... I'm not going to say care more. No, they definitely care. They're more, like, immediately passionate about a number of things. And so... Um, I really like following her because almost all of her takes are uh, very passionate and very on point for kind of like the morality that I I seek to, to embody in my own life. And so, yeah, if I see her on, I will rate her gladly, especially because she's very nice and she has adorable bunnies. Uh, let's see. Uh, also, thank you, Crispy Croco, for the four-month resub. Thanks so much. Okay, don't know what it is, but I do know apparently Molten Rust are some of the hardest things to get rid of. Yes, they are. Is this the Dirt Finder General? Got your details from a certain Harper Shaw. There's an alleged dirt problem at the local playground. Boy, howdy. Dirt Finder General. I love that. It's on my dream RV at the auctions, all creamy like a toffee pie on wheels. What? That's weird. Who's this person? Where are bunnies? Uh, look for Seriously Clara on Twitch and or Twitter. Specifically, uh, I guess Twitter just because. Uh, that's where she is, I would argue, more active. She does, like, streaming on... It's weird, I almost never actually advertise for people. Um, but I I work quite, quite a lot. I think she started as, like, the uh, Square Enix community, man community manager? Influencer outreach person in uh, the U.S., at least. And then she was like, I'm switching over to Sandbox. And then now I'm working at Devolver, which is so nice because previously... Uh, from, like, a, a PR perspective, it was really difficult for me back in the day uh, to ever get a hold of Devolver Digital. So if there was a game that I, like, I wanted, uh, I generally had to buy it myself, which, like, not a big deal. But that would mean, like, buying it day of, not being able to, like, get coverage together and so on and so forth. And then um, they've been far better about, like, influencer outre outreach now. I really like calling myself an influencer, but let's be honest, it is what I am. But so she took over for that and has been doing just an absolutely incredible job of it.
There we go. This game is weirdly hypnotic. It is so nice! Like, this is the kind of game that I can just load up and play and ramble about whatever the hell. And I, you guys have probably noticed sometimes when I'm rambling about a game, or uh, over the course of the game I get kind of distracted, my brain hangs for a while, and it's a little difficult for me to like get back on topic. This is not one of those games, and I really appreciate that actually. Because I, I can straight up just like ramble ceaselessly without a care in the world, and not even think about it. This is cool actually, just the kind of rotating inwards. I could probably go green. And have it be fine. The answer is no. There's there's a couple of things that are resistant. I wonder if you could actually, like, program an AI to do this. That'd be kind of interesting to watch. I guess if I look straight down, it won't let me. It won't let me power wash my feet. There we go. Yeah, okay, it's pretty forgiving. Okay, so we've got the pond ball. We haven't gotten the pond, pond edge yet. There we go. I like the idea of what you're doing, but you're also laying down on top of the dirt at the same time, so you're just spinning around in mud. Yeah, I kind of wish this had a viscera cleanup detail where you could track mud around. Gosh, power washing simulator crossed with viscera cleanup detail. That would be an absolute dream. Holy shit, that would be good. Because this game, this game is solid, but I, I wish I was cleaning up like a space garden on like an alien planet or something, cause, just because that would be cool. Um, but then also having the, the slight mess, you know, like, oh, uh, you've, you've tracked through the blood. Now there's bloody footprints all over. I really got to convince my, my friends to play Viscera Cleanup Detail with me. Because I feel like that would be a hoot with the Wholesome Verse. We have been trying to... We have been trying to play more... Well, find more things to play. But I might specifically try and do that with, like, Rito and Raps first, as opposed to the full eight people. Maybe? Maybe. Get the birdhouse and feathers just explode out. No. The poor burbs. Why would you suggest that? These burbs were too smart. They knew. They knew this place was filthy and they did not bother. Okay. Here we go. It's probably just better to do it from this direction. The cat on top of the shed gone. Oh. Wow, that's a floaty jump. I didn't realize there was a cat on the shed. I was too busy. I know one of the challenge maps is clean a rover on Mars, but I want to go, like, full sci-fi with this stuff. Real life is boring. I love it. But taking these mechanics and putting me on, like, a space station with, like, aliens and shit, like, I'd be cool with that. I just, I don't know. We play all of these sci-fi games and fantasy games and whatnot that are so, like, epic. I just want to play some, like, really mundane shit set in a fantasy world. But, like, a vibrant and interesting one. Because the only, like, really mundane garbage that I can think of within fantasy worlds that I know of is, like, a lot of blacksmith sims. The problem is almost every single one of the blacksmith sims are kind of ugly and very, like, realistic. Dead Cells Power Washer Edition. Yeah, exactly! Just, like, makes no sense, but why the hell not? Okay, probably should get this. Well, 
Oh, that was quick. There we go. I'd always be worried about doing this sort of thing in real life, just potentially damaging stuff. Because I know power washers can, like, really do some serious damage. Need to power wash the sun, it's filthy. Dude, like, I know you're probably joking, but, like, that would be really funny. Of just having some kind of, like, weird power wash the sun, but you've got, like, a... It's like a plasma flamethrower kind of deal. 